I can't believe that I'm reading this right now. Holy crud. Nintendo is a apparently mulling doing something that seems absolutely insane to me but might actually be needed so i am on the wall street journal right now reading a piece that was posted very late tonight by takahashi mochizuki in fact while i'm recording this it says it's actually november 10th when on my end it's still november 9th so that lets you know how recent this news is like it just hit and oh man it says that the Kyoto-based company is sketching out a plan to make 25 to 30 million units of the Switch in its next fiscal year, which begins in April 2018, and has begun informing business partners about it. They said the plan is still in its early stages, and Nintendo could aim higher depending on sales during this year's holiday season. Then it goes on to just list off a bunch of stats. Um, this report was was created by Takahashi Machizuki. Yes, that is the guy who got made fun of his gameplay of Cuphead. I believe, maybe I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was him. Uh, but he also is extremely reliable for his information because he lives in Japan. Uh, I, I think he actually is Japanese himself. Uh, but yeah, he's always bringing us all the latest news he gets, uh, from companies in Japan, including Nintendo. Um, and I, I was looking at his Twitter cause that's where I actually saw the news first hit. And it's very interesting because, uh, it turns out that this would be more units. If they even did 25 million, let alone 30 million would be more units shipped than any year of the Wii, more than the peak years of the Wii, that would be more units. And if they do hit 30 million in one year, it would be roughly the same amount that the Nintendo DS, Nintendo's highest selling system of all time, shipped in fiscal year 07 08. So they might be thinking that the Switch is going to sell the most in a single year that it's ever sold in the history of the company for any hardware it's ever released. And <laughs> as, as Daniel Ahmed on uh, Twitter is noting, another analyst out there, he's saying that it's absolutely insane and I want to know what Nintendo is smoking. And it turns out that it might not seem so crazy because Nintendo has a plan, supposedly, uh, as Dr. Uh, Toto, another analyst says, the number is probably so high because Nintendo is planning to release the system in China. And in addition to that, it's possible that Nintendo also has at least two blockbuster titles that are going to land in 2018. One of those being Pokemon, of course, Pokemon Switch, which does have a tentative release date of 2018 or later. The other game potentially is an animal crossing now it's just a rumor right now there's no confirmed oh my gosh we're getting a full animal crossing game on switch but it's been a long time since new leaf came out and well uh, animal crossing pocket edition is fantastic it would make a lot of sense to launch pocket edition this year to help push sales for a switch animal crossing game next year and in case you're wondering animal crossing sells like gangbusters it is one of nintendo's top franchises in terms of sales so you combine that with pokemon and sales wise it could very well massively outdo the combination of zelda mario kart and super mario odyssey in the same year so yeah i know i just came off a video talking about how so, uh, <laughs> that 2018 is the year of the third party and certainly with sales of potentially 30 million units that they're thinking could happen in 2018 uh that clearly it's going to be the year for any game that releases on the platform but nintendo's not going to do that if they don't have those big games coming and if they don't feel like they're about to massively increase their market share and china is a huge huge market for gaming and they love mobile gaming in china and if they hit it big in china and they're hitting it big everywhere else in the world the momentum continues i mean they're talking about apparently nintendo's discussing if the holiday season exceeds even their current projections because right now they're projecting to sell roughly 9 million new new units of the platform 
from October through March. So this holiday period, heading into the final fiscal quarter, they're planning to sell 9 million more Nintendo Switches worldwide. If they exceed that, if they hit 10, 11, 12, 13, Nintendo might be increasing production to 35 to 40 million, which is insane. Nintendo's never done that. And what's even more insane is that Nintendo has, can guarantee the production lines to even hit that amount. And Nintendo won't be, you know, here's how you know Nintendo is serious about this. This isn't just some one-off report. They're telling their business partners. And when you start talking to your business partners about that kind of sales potential for next year, that means that Nintendo is seriously not just considering it. They've practically already decided that that's what they're going to do in 2018. So get ready to get pumped. Not necessarily because you personally should give a big crap about how many units sell, but because you should be excited for what this means for the Switch, not just in terms of third-party support, which, again, I feel like sales like this are just going to keep proving my point that the year of the third party is 2018, the same year that the Switch is going to apparently top out or peak out in sales. Holy crap. I mean, double... <laughs> More than double the Wii U sales in a single year is what Nintendo's planning. This is insane. Insane. Oh, And I know, right? The sales haven't actually happened. Just because Nintendo's going to produce 30 million units in 2018 doesn't mean that 30 million units are going to sell in fiscal year 2018 slash 2019. But uh, they wouldn't be producing those amount of units if they weren't very, very confident that they're going to sell them. Think about this. Let's say that they hit 30 million units next fiscal year. At the end of this fiscal year, they only hit projections, right? They just hit projections. So by the start of the next fiscal year, they're at like 17.5 million units. That means at the end of two years and one month on the market, Switch could be at 47.5 million units. And if they, that's assuming if they just hit current projections. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. This is just. It blows my mind that Nintendo thinks they can do this, but I guess if they're expanding into China, if they've got Animal Crossing and Pokemon hitting, like they're very, very confident those games are going to hit next year. Uh, if they know they got all these third-party games coming on and sales are continuing to explode and this holiday just blows up for them. Heck, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 ends up becoming the best-selling Xenoblade ever. I don't know what Nintendo's thinking. I don't know what pipe they're smoking, but I want some of that because Nintendo's being bold, they're being drastic, and they're being, you know ready to create the air. I mean, if they pull this off, if this happens, if they make 30 million units and they sell through most of that stock in the next fiscal year, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about this system. I, no, this system is no longer something that I'm talking about is beating the Wii. We're going to start talking about if the Nintendo Switch could top the Nintendo DS. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this absolutely insane news in the comments below. Seriously, I was getting into bed and I was just checking my Twitter feed. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get this out to you guys right now. Oh man. All right, like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe for more content. And as always, folks, I'll catch you in the next one. Yes.